do you find yourself with a Game Boy Color light and no screen spacers? No 3D printer? What you gonna do? Boy, have I got the solution for you. I, uh, I just got these in the mail a few days ago. Uh, I ordered some new PCBs from Oshpark. Guys, I, I promise I'm not sponsored by Oshpark or anything. They're just super cheap for low volume small PCBs. Uh, I ordered this. Oop, sorry, bumping the camera. This cost me 75 cents for three of them shipped. Of course, I only got two, but whatever. Um, why, if you don't have a... God, I can't even speak. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm off to a wonderful start, don't you think? Anyway, um, what I'm trying to say, to install that Game Boy Color backlight kit, to center it, you're going to want to use spacers, and of course the kit does not come with spacers. You can use, if you have a 3D printer, you can print out some spacers, and I did post the STL files for those uh, on my Thingiverse. And there's a link, I'll put another link in the description, because why not? Um, but if you don't have a 3D printer, getting those spacers is a little bit more problematic. The uh, spacers themselves cost like, I don't know, a nickel worth of plastic, if that. Um, they only take like five minutes to print, nothing. But the thing is, is if you're going through a service, there's going to be a minimum charge. They're going to charge you money for shipping. You're going to end up spending like 15, 20 bucks on something that should cost you literally less than a quarter. Um, so that's where I had this idea. Uh, I decided to take advantage of the fact that Osh Park offers free shipping on their boards, assuming you don't pay for expedited, expedited shipping, of course, uh, and the fact that small as in, you know, physically diminutive boards are dirt cheap. Seriously, this 75 cents, three of them shipped. Uh, the only problem with Osh Park, and actually it even turns out to be a pro in this case, is that they panelize the boards, which means uh, when you, what's the best way to do this? I think, I'm just going to take that off. So when, when you order boards, what they'll do is they'll take a bunch of boards, put them together next to each other with these little tabs that break off, and they'll run the whole big board through as one sheet. In this case, that's what you get with these ones, and you have to either like trim them off or file them or something. But again, for 75 cents, I think that's worth it, especially if you don't have a 3D printer and want something to uh, want something to space. You don't need to worry about the ones on the top and the bottom, you just want to worry about these long ones on the sides here. But you just want to file those flat. Or flat enough. And by the way, please pardon the mess, I'm in the middle of cleaning up, and what better way to procrastinate actually cleaning than by making a video. Alright. While I'm at it, Osh Park just, uh, again, I swear I'm not sponsored. Um, Got to break these apart. There we go. Anyway, Osh Park just started up their new After Dark service, which is PCBs with black substrate and clear solder mask. And if you have no idea what that means, that's fine. But this is what PCBs normally look like. That green nonsense, that's what, the green color itself is the solder mask. The substrate, or the PCBs themselves, they're usually like an off-white color-ish, give or take. But the green is what you're seeing. That's that's the solder mask. That's the part that goes over the copper traces so, uh, to prevent shorts. So when you lay things on top or whatever. Um, but the idea with these new After Dark boards is that the 
the base material is black and the uh, solder mask is clear so that you can see the copper through it. So I put my name in this board. You can't even see it because it's not focusing. No, that's not going to happen. There we go. So that's the copper layer. You can see right through it. Here's another example, another one of my boards here. Uh, I, This is the same board I released on a while ago. Um, I just redid the traces to make it look a little bit better for this style. But anyway, of course, in mine I already have the 3D printed spacers. So me doing this on my console is really just to show you. But these should fit in there. I'm going to flip it around. No real reason it has to be flipped around. I just like it. I just like the looks. And that's not going in there. You got to make sure it's absolutely uh, filed flat. Because these are not sized with tolerances in mind. I always forget about tolerances when I'm making stuff. It always comes to bite me in the ass. All right. So that will go in there like that. And again, even once you've got the screen installed, these spacers don't really matter. But that'll help center it, and you can use it that way. That goes on that side, that goes on that side. You just got to put it back together. And of course, my screen didn't really move. I was filing over the Game Boy. That was a, uh, that was a dumb move there. That's okay. Once you've got your spacers in, you can put your screen in like normal, fold up the board. You can see my other video for the uh, install process. The only difference is this time you got to file. There's always a little bit of post print cleanup with 3D printed objects. And um, this was actually quite a bit easier than cleaning up these things. As odd as that is. I'll just do three screws, do the rest in a minute. Put my salvaged batteries back in. And there we go. Screen's nice and centered. Everything looks good. Fire up a game. I think that is a resounding success. And again, 75 cents for three of them. Of course, you only need one, but Oshpark only ships in multiples of three, so there's not a whole lot that can be done about that. But yeah, there we go. Um, I'm also working on more of these PCB style spacers, I guess, for some other systems, um, namely a screen bezel for the Game Boy Macro, the BoxyPixel one. I think that'll look pretty cool. Hindsight, I should have ordered those through Osh Park because I like, I really like this uh, black, this copper on black look, but it's kind of expensive because that screen bezel is not exactly small. And uh, I think Osh Park charges, it, it's like exponential for uh, larger boards. But anyway, I think that's pretty cool. Um, let me know what you guys think. I, again, 75 cents. It's, it's hard to complain at that price. 
Um, but let me know what you guys think. Let me know if there's if you think there's a better way to do this or if there's another thing you want designed. You know, maybe I can uh, maybe I can accommodate and uh, we'll go from there. But otherwise, thanks for watching this quick one. You guys have a good night.